Hello, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do a skin of uh, Bill's character in Left 4 Dead 2. So first we're going to uh, download some software. So I'm going to start Internet Explorer and uh, I'm going to download GIMP. So type GIMP portable. Click the first link and click that green button. We're going to download into um, a folder which we're going to call L4D and second thing we're going to download is um, VTF edit. So type VTF edit. It's a program to uh, convert a uh, an image to the valve texture file format which we will need to create the add-on so click the link download and download the archive and then we're going to need to uh, download some files from uh, this Dropbox which is my Dropbox so there are four files, two images, two vector files and one folder structure file. So first um, click the first image, then right click and download. Now you can close that, click the second, right click, download, <coughs> and you close it and you click the other two and you download them download that and then the other one download that one and the last is the folder structure for the creating the VPK which is the extension for the add-on the valve pack so the download this okay now I download all which I need I can close the Internet Explorer and let's see what I've downloaded so So this is the install for the game. This is the folder structure we need. So this one you click and you hold and you drag it there. And whether you have Windows 64 bit or Windows 32 bits you take the one which is more convenient for your uh, OS mine is uh, Windows 64 so I put that one here okay so uh, now we're going to install the GIMP double click that and uh, we can install it in the same uh, folder and there we go So now we can delete all those. This is VTF edit. Okay. So since we're going to do build, we're going to rename that folder build slash test. And if we look inside, there are all the um, folder structure for the VPK we're going to create but uh, actually we don't need the other folders you can just delete them except namvet which is the builds folder okay 
now we can fire up GIMP okay so now it's ready we go to window single window mode makes it easier to uh, to work now I'm going to drag the build color X XCF so it's actually uh, some uh, outlines of the pieces of clothing and uh, file open as layers and then build color so in the layers we have the the JPEG we just imported and uh, in the um, path tab we have all the paths and they're named so you can select them easily so first we're going to right click jacket and convert it to a selection and then notice there are some holes here in the jacket so we need to deduct that from the selection so you right click there and uh, subtract from selection so it's jacket deduct and then we can colorize it go into colorize and then we we could uh, colorize it like this for example and his shirt we're going to just going to color his pants also uh trousers and uh yeah that will do we could also colorize the shoes and uh the holster we could I'm just going to colorize the holster and the holster band I'm gonna make it red really bright red okay so that's fine I'm gonna export that so you could export it uh, as PNG so the name has to be build color and then I export it <coughs> okay so I'm gonna save that and close and I'm gonna import the next one which is the uh, bill head XCF which contains the Barrett, Bill's Barrett. So I'm gonna drag that to GIMP and then import the the JPEG as the layer like so. And then if you right click the hat and convert to selection you you can paint just the hat. I have to deduct the shield and deduct the band here so it doesn't paint on those so right click and subtract from selection for shield and band then I'm gonna colorize the, the hat same as the holster like purple okay and uh, maybe I'm gonna colorize the band also Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna export that. Okay, so once we've done that, we can uh, convert those to a VTF Valve texture file because the the add-on has to use uh, this this kind of texture. So we quit. I'm just gonna save and quit the GIMP okay so uh, here we have our PNG files so we're just gonna open the VTF edit and uh, import the first one 
So make sure the uh, format is DXT1 for those. And then you import that. And just save as. Uh, what was the name? Yeah, build color. So save as build color. Okay, and I'm gonna quit and restart VTF edit and import the second one. Build head. going to save it as uh, billhead billhead okay save that then quit VTF edit so I have my two um, VTF files here which I'm going to place in my folder structure so uh, I'm going to place them in uh, NAMVET. Okay, so now I'm ready to uh, create the uh, VPK, which is the extension for the add-ons for Left 4 Dead. So, um, first thing I'm going to need is uh, to start uh, Steam. Um, okay, I'm going to start Steam here and then I'm going to go into library uh, tools and um, look for left for dead authoring tools then right click install it and then if you go and look into downloads it should tell you it's downloading and uh, it's a 600 uh, or more uh, megabyte file which is going to take 10 minutes or less so now it's finished downloading uh, you can close that window and if you go into Steam Apps, come on, Left 4 Dead 2, bin, you will have all the tools you downloaded there. And what you need to do is drag, right click drag on the desktop, the vpk.exe, and create a shortcut. And finally, if we go back to our folder, we just drag. I'm just going to delete that. We just drag build test folder on VPK and it creates a packed file. And this is actually your uh, Left 4 Dead 2 add on. So uh, you could just right click that and copy it to uh, your Steam folder. If you go into um, Left 4 Dead 2, which we went earlier, um, there's another Left 4 Dead 2 folder in that. And if you open it, then you have add-ons, and you could just uh, paste it there. And uh, yeah, if you start the game, it will uh, it will show in your game. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.